theatrical mix of uh, Die Hard 1988. This theatrical mix, only uh, for the six track mix, uh, only exists on THX Laserdisc. Not on DVD, not on Blu ray, and certainly not on 4K. You only get a near field mix on those versions. So if you want the, uh, you know, you want that flashback, blow you through the back wall of the theatre. Well, that's a bit of heavy um, pan on the uh, the machine gun on the surround there, to where everything's running around in the, uh, the uh, what's it? Go back a little bit. Put the screen channels on. So I'm running in five screen. Put it down now. It's a bit soft on the on the level, on the ambient, on the dialogue. It's pretty tricky with that accent. It'll be on fucking TV with that accent. But what do you want with the detonators, Hans? I already used all the explosives. Did I? I got the count to three. Yeah. Like you did with Takagi. Oops. No bullets. You can hear the the uh, the clicking on the gun on the Beretta on stage right. Whereas all the other versions, the the mix is totally utterly messed up. So nice, nice bit of um, and it's got it's got depth and bass and kick and slam and like I say, depth of pressure. Um, you certainly won't get that on 4K disc with that supposedly lossless audio bullshit. But I mean, this is what this might as well be lossy uh, or lossless or. Um, I don't know, uh, the 70 mil mix would have been uncompressed audio. Um, and since Dolby Digital on Laserdisc, you know, bit rate and such is only a marginally better than um, SRD. You're probably confused with what SRD is. Spectral Recording Digital. So if the digital this didn't play an SRD, so if um, if a digital track were to fail with uh, damage to the digital track, which is usually between the perforation on the uh, film print, if it was slightly damaged or such, it would revert over to Dolby SR um, until the damage is um, uh, re until the film prints gone past all the damage through the projector um, and it's seamless you don't even notice it you don't notice it it's switching it is very good um, anyway this 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 is just this is just brilliant I don't know why why I put it on today I think I was at the vets today and I heard this, you know, like air conditioned sound, you know, in the um, in the waiting room with my, with my cat and uh, uh, with my cat there, and I uh, heard this air conditioning sound. Uh, suddenly, it subconsciously reminded me of Die Hard because when they're having this conversation, you know, the Hans and the McLean, um, there's this air conditioning sound that you can hear in the surround channel. Um, of course, I've got my window open, so the noise noise floor level oh, well, well. is going to be up a little bit, um, you know. Hurts. But Put it down now. It's quite a bit of bass rumble there. It's pretty tricky with that accent. In, in the track. It'll be on fucking TV with that accent. Kind of what do you want with the goes up and down occasionally. I already used all the explosives. But 
did I? I can do it, Takagi. There it is. No bullets. And with the left, uh, the five screen. Never say. It's a little bit more um, very special in this uh, THX sound system cinema, which is the only, probably the only yeah. THX sound system cinema on YouTube. Um, everyone thinks they got THX when the professional version is a totally different thing, total different thing from the consumer version. And I had the consumer version for a while, and it just. What do you want it just wasn't like the things? real thing, you know? And it's like my dad yeah, says, he says, you know, what's the point when you can go out and buy the real thing, you know? Did I? Um, well, of course, that was years ago, and the real thing then was still pretty damn expensive. Um, so you have to wait, you know, until you see these gem, these bargains. Fish and chips showing up on eBay. Um, of course, if I were to buy the, the real thing, like a 70 mil dual, a 70 mil projector, which play will play 35 as well, film print, you know, like something like this would would all be pink by now. It all be turned to oh, colour well. pink, and there's no guarantee the uh, the magnetic track is going to be intact very well because it would flake, um, and you could get high frequency loss or total soundtrack loss. Because it's magnetic coating. Yeah, fucking TV with that accent. But it's great though, it's intact here on Laserdisc. You know, if you could do a rip, do a rip and of the actual Laserdisc, not combine it with a freaking Blu ray, uh, flipping 4K, flipping high definition quality. I mean, literally take a rip. And then, you know, it, it's more manageable then to play this back over and over because it's, you know, it's, it's two discs, it's three sides. Sometimes you get glitches with a laser disc player if the disc flips, uh, the laser turns 180 degree. Uh, I've got a slight glitch because the laser needs a slight alignment for the, uh, the top part of the uh, player. Because over the years, I think gravity forces have been at work and there's... Um, kind of you know the laser uh, it's got little adjustments on it it just needs an alignment to what do you want with the give it a bit more I suppose um, stability used all the explosives. Did I? so I occasionally I now I just do a manual flip over on the laser disc to back to manual back ma manual flip over kind of like projection days with I've never done A, B, A and B projection because there was no need because projectors were all on a cake, everything was on a cake platter. But it'd be like a subjectionist saying, oh, look, we're, we're back to doing like um, changeovers. <laughs> so when, when you play, you got reel one and reel two ready, you play reel one, when reel one comes to an end you start reel two up and then you put reel three onto the other projector and then keep on doing that process it's oh, that, that 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 click that, that is a flashback that is exactly what i heard on the theatrical mix in 35 mil and what you would get on uh, six track 70 only it's more discreet and it's got more depth and bass and dynamic range I can do with the Oops. No oh. Oh, it's got bass that you can feel. Oh, it's got dynamic, dynamic, Dolby. I mean, I might as well just call this uncompressed audio. Because when I look at Blu-ray 4K discs and the frequency response on the Spectrum Lab, I just fall over laughing, but thinking, oh my goodness, the dynamic range it, it seems reduced <laughs> oh dear and it's not a case sometimes you, you can hear it sometimes I would subconsciously sort of sense there's something odd out of place and then turn on the spectrum lab and then bam there it is clear as day 
you want with the detonators, Hans? I already used all the explosives. What did I? I got count to three. Yeah. Like you did with Takagi. Oops. That is brilliant. Fucking stupid, Hans.